안녕하십니까 배정인 원장입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Hye Jung In. Today, I want to talk about provisional restorations for anterior aesthetic implant cases. Much of what is included in today's contents has already been covered in previous lectures on diagnosis, treatment planning, and material selection for design. Today's lecture might be relatively shorter. I would recommend reviewing the previous lectures before participating in this one. The role of provisional restoration is, as we all know, to maintain the inherent functions of a prosthesis, especially in anterior implant cases. The provisional serves as a transitional restoration. It provides biological and communicational feedback during gingival molding process. This biological feedback and patient communication about the appearance of the prosthesis are crucial, particularly in the anterior region. When creating implant provisional, we can use RPD, which can be removable, or we can attach it to adjacent teeth if the implanted primary stability and other conditions are favorable. Implant abutment can be connected. For implant provisional, so we can consider temporary abutments. There's connection area, cuff, and on top, there's different materials. There's different cuff heights, as I've mentioned previously. Following the EBC principle, this is the C area. In other words, crystal area. Straight profile is recommended to prevent pressure on adjacent tissue. The recommendation is to use a slightly higher cuff than 1 mm. This is a quick temporary abutment made with a peak material. Connection area is titanium and it is composed of peak material. It can be used frequently as a provisional and it bonds easily with resin and it is easy to modify. You need to choose appropriate cuff. In digital workflow, we often use link abutment which can fit provisional or zirconia abutments on top. We can directly insert final zirconia or emex crown without a separate abutment. As mentioned, while various cuff heights are available, I have recommended a 2 mm cuff. Open types are more convenient for using angle drivers because one side is open. Even with stock abutments, provisional restorations can be created. When considering the EBC concept, in order to be able to customize, it's better to use abutments with not significant cuff height. 2 millimeters or 3 millimeters are recommended. Since implant provisionals differ in material from the final prosthesis, Various abutments could be used besides the ones mentioned. When should we prepare provisionals? This can be prepared preoperatively using a shell for accurate positioning to the adjacent teeth. After implant placement, appropriate abutment is connected. Through the hole, resin is injected, and after adhesion, here there's running room area. The transmucosal area is designed upon removal. If you're using digital dentistry and using implant guides, you can assume that the implant has been placed in the planned position, and a screw-retained crown can be fabricated ahead. As we all know, on Implant Studio software, after planning, we can make a screw-retained crown 
It may vary depending on the library provided by the implant company. You can make a surgical guide from the implant studio and send the data to CAD system and fabricate crowns separately. If you want to make the design more detailed rather than just doing it here, it's better to use dental system. Surgical guide and screw retained crown were fabricated at the same time. As you can see, in Austin's one guide, there is a sleeve slot. This is hex positioning slot. Using this, you can position the flat side of the internal hex vertical to this slot. If we are to use hex prosthesis, so we can position it accurately also because there's uncertainty as to whether positioning will be done properly. Here, I've used a non-hex design right after surgery, prefabricated, provisional was uh, delivered, but you can see that a quite nice aesthetic result has been achieved. As for post-surgical provisional fabrication, this is about taking impression after surgery, and there's not much to talk about. I've emphasized it over and over. Providing provisional, provisionals are not only restore function and aesthetics, but play a crucial role as a transitional prosthesis, reflecting the biological and communicational feedback in the temporary design. Temporaries are used for gingival molding and reflect the changes in design. Final provisional means a transitional prosthesis. In the transmucosal area, duplication is done. Customized impression coping can be fabricated using this. When making model, the gingival area will be exactly the same as transmucosal area of a provisional. If you use digital dentistry, it can be easier. You can scan it. You can scan the transitional prosthesis data and reflect it in final prosthesis. Up until thus far, let me summarize the most aesthetic pathway once again, although I've mentioned them in my previous lectures as well. If possible, immediate implant placement would be ideal. If there's no inflammation and if there's sound buccal bone, immediate implant placement can be done. What would be the appropriate position? It should be 1.5 millimeters away from adjacent tooth and 3 millimeters away from adjacent implant. From the free gingival margin or CEJ, it needs to be 3-4 millimeters away. Going back to EBC concept, Following that, it needs to be about 5 to 6 millimeters away from the free gingival margin. Accurate positioning is very important, so the use of surgical guide can be recommended. If possible, immediate prosthesis delivery should be provided following immediate implant placement to restore patients' function and aesthetics immediately. By fabricating transitional prosthesis based on biological feedback and patient communication, we'd be able to end up with a transitional prosthesis that is satisfactory to both a surgeon and patient alike. The transitional prosthesis design now needs to be converted to final prosthesis design. You can use analog method or digital method. In the interior zone, we get the biologic feedback and patient communication, and it is important to reflect that and make modifications. And in fabricating prosthesis and selecting abutment, you need to use customizable and aesthetic final abutment. My recommendation is Zirconia link abutment with about 2 millimeters of cuff. 
and the suprastructure should be monolithic multi-layered zirconia. I've recommended a zirconia with a different transparency and a strength in the cervical and incisor area. For single implant, they're surrounded by natural teeth, which require characterizations and high aesthetics. Porcelain veneer can be used. Today, I've talked about the provisional prosthesis for anterior aesthetic implants. I look forward to meeting you at Offline Hands-On course. Thank you.